Right, so the next bit we're going to do, uh, we've got our walls all ready to go, as you can see here. We've got all the cutouts for where my doors are going to be, where the windows are going to be, etc. What I'm going to now do is actually start building the you know, frames for the windows, frames for the doors, and all that kind of stuff before we start doing the, you know, the rest of the, you know, sloped roofs and things. Uh, that's going to take a bit of time. So I'm going to come over to create and I'm going to create, I'm not going to try and extrude them out of the, what, the geometry for the walls because things are going to get too confusing if you try and do it like what, that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create it, start with the windows, create it from a separate box. So normally when you create something, you know, you know, to create something, it adds it like from, you know, the surface upwards. But if you tick this auto grid option here, when you're going to create something, notice that the little gizmo actually um, attaches itself to the surface that your cursor is on. So it can be helpful when you're just creating something like in a space like we are now. So, you know, I just want to draw this window draw it up from there look. It doesn't need to be perfect at first because we're going to instantly convert that to an editable poly. By the way, make sure you know it's not got any segments or anything before you do. Uh, I'm just going to show you just a real quick way of making um, like a sort of a window frame that's going to be adjustable to fit all of our windows around the whole building. So um, first of all it's going to go to vertex to adjust everything so it fits the space of the window. Get those top ones. Pull that up to there. These on the side need to go over slightly. If it's overlapping, that's absolutely fine. There. So what I'm going to do is select that front polygon. All I'm going to do is do an inset. So click and drag inset. Depends how chunky you want those frames. That's fine. And then extrude, so extrude inwards slightly. Um, technically, you could leave it as just that, but I'm just going to add another smaller inset. Oh, my mouse is going to play up. Okay, let me undo that. Sorry, I don't know what happened there. And it's doing it again. Tell you what, I'm going to do it with the settings. Give me more control that way. Okay, just a smaller one, and, and then extrude in again. Just a bit of detail there. Great, so there's a window frame. Looks great. From this side, from the inside, again, it's just a flat surface. So rather than modeling both sides, what I'm going to do is make sure I select Editable Poly at the top level, and I'm going to add on a symmetry modifier. Okay, symmetry. Um, so it copies the other side, but what's happened here it's kind of it's copying the wrong side. <laughs> it's copying the side that I didn't want. So I'm just going to tick lip. There we go. And then that's just copied both sides. Very nice. Okay. What I want to do that I don't want a polygon for where the glass is going to be. Okay. Reason being because if I added a transparent texture there, you would then see inside the hollow mesh of the frame, which we don't want. So we're going to make the glasses something separate later. So what I'm going to do is toggle down this symmetry so I can access the mirror individually. And I'm going to move it in this X axis until uh, it's the glass is gone. So it's like that. So it's just a frame. Great. Click symmetry. Obviously want this um, more central. That's OK. And there you go, there's a, a basic little window frame. Um, once you're happy, you can just convert that into an editable poly again. Um, and now this will be adjustable for all your windows. So if I hold shift and drag it, copies another one. You want to make a copy. And, you know, if I zoom it, I can see, you know, that's not quite fitting. So I can just go to vertex, select all the ones on this side and just move that to scale it. Okay, so you can see how this will be scalable. If I just put it out from here. You know, if I need to change it height, I can just do it that way. The width, 
just do it that way. Okay. Um, and again, what you're going to need to do is copy those to go all the way around the building. So if I copy that, um, obviously this is going to need rotating. So I'm going to get my rotate tool. And what you can do up here, you've got an angle snap. If I turn that on, it will snap to five degrees increments until I get to 90, I think. Move that into place over here. Okay, so obviously that doesn't fit. So I need to go to vertex, make it wider there. And higher there. Okay, great. So obviously you'd go around the whole thing. I'm only going to do those. Um, lastly, we have the door. Um, so if I look at my reference image, um, it's just kind of a simple door. Like these glass kind of see through, which is why I really think this is probably the back of the building. So again, same process, get a box, come up to these doors, draw it in that space there, convert it to an editable poly, get the scale right. about right. Okay, so now what I need to do to do this, I'm going to create it in much the same way, but I need to split it in half because it's like a double double doors. So I'm going to select the top and bottom edge and hit connect. Oh, sorry. My top edge has gone a bit into there. Hit connect and then that will divide it into two. If I select both polygons, and go to inset. Problem I'll have is that it's going to inset them both at the same time, which I don't want. So if I go to the settings, I can change that inset to by polygon, and that's going to get, give the effect that I want there. It's going to be about there. Tick, that's fine. And again, same kind of thing, just extrude in. Um, maybe I'll give it another little inset and extrude in again. Okay. There's my door, nothing fancy. Again, you can just do the symmetry modifier to add that to the other side. Let's just quickly do that. Symmetry. Um, that's actually the mirrors going side to side rather than back to front. So I need to change the axis of it to Y. Again, that's doing the wrong side. So I need to flip it. And there we go. Lovely job. Don't want the glass. So move the mirror in until that's gone. And I can convert that to an editable poly. Um, you might not add some handles on here, whatever you want to do. So I'm just going to do them as a box because I'm just doing a real simple one. You can do, put more, more, much more detail into uh, yours. So auto grid, just add a handle there. Hold shift. Make another one. Two very basic door handles. And I'm going to just attach those so it's part of the same model. Obviously, you'd need to do the same for the other side um, or do it before you, whilst the symmetry modifier is still applied. Um, right. Great. I'm going to change that to the same matching color as my frames. Okay. So essentially, your job now is to go around the whole building, um, adding in the models for the door. The interior doors, obviously, you don't want them to have the glass through. Just uh, I'll let you, you know, use your creativity there. Just adding in uh, a model for the interior ones. Look up some reference images if you need to. Um, and then again, I'll come back when all of these are done in the next video.